Good day, my online students. One more time, I am Falaji Akipeli, your online chemistry teacher. Now we shall be taking a wonderful topic, which I call acid, base, and salt. It's a third term topic. So incline your ear, get your book, get your bio, and be ready to learn. They are all presented on PowerPoint. I'll be showing you in a GV. Just stay tuned. Now, acid. Acid has been defined by three great scientists. Number one person is Arenos, as you can see. Number two, there are two great scientists. Bronsted Laurie and Bronsted and Laurie. So put together, their name is Bronsted Laurie. Number three is Mr. Lewis. And he gave a definition on acid and beige. Let's move on to the second slide. Arena's definition of acid and base. He said, an acid is a substance which when dissolved in water, increase the concentration of hydrogen ion. Look at hydrogen ion is H plus. The H is capital letter and the plus is a superscript, not a subscript. Please take note of that. He also defined a base as a substance which when dissolved in water, increase the concentration of hydrozyl ion. Hydrozyl ion is OH minus. The minus is a superscript as well. So we'll move on to the third slide now. Take note of these definitions and put them on your mind. Now, according to Arenos, strong acids are acids that ionize completely in aqueous solution. What is the meaning of aqueous solution? A solution is said to be aqueous when we have a solvent and a solute put together, we we'll call it aqueous solution. And these are examples of strong acid. Number one is ACL, hydrochloric acid, H2SO4, hydrogen tetraozone sulfate cis, or tetraozone sulfate cis acid. HNO3, hydrogen triozone nitrate 5, or triozone nitrate 5 acid. HI, that is hydrogen iodide, put that on your mind, hydrogen iodide, and HBr is hydrogen bromide. All these are examples of strong acid. Now, we also have some examples of strong base which include NaOH, sodium hydroxide, KOH, potassium hydroxide. Take note of that. Let's go to slide 4. Bronsted and Laurie theory of acid and base. Bronsted Laurie describe an acid as a substance which donate proton when it is dissolved in certain solvent in proton transfer reaction. The key word there is that an acid donate proton. Take note. Now, bronsted laurene base is a substance which accepts proton when it is dissolved in certain solvent in proton transfer reaction. This one accepts electron. So, Rosie Laurie defined an acid as a proton donor. Define a base as proton acceptor. Do not let that go off your mind. Take note of it and don't forget it. Let's move on to the other slide. You can see examples of acids. According to them, ACL. When it is dissolved in water, you can see ACL here, you can see plus water, it's going to give hydrogen ion. 
or hydrozonium ion as the only positive. This is negative, this is positive. Now look at this one too. This is NH3. This is a base. This is an acid. This is a base plus water. It's giving you plus, it's giving you OH. So that is the difference between them. Let's move on to the next slide as slide six. Lewis theory of acid and base. Mr. Lewis defined an acid as a substance which accepts a lone pair of electrons. This one is talking about lone pair of electrons. In forming a coordinate bond. Now, he also defined a base as a substance which donates a lone pair of electrons in forming a coordinate bond. Look at this example. H plus plus NH3 go to NH4. This is a very good example of a coordinate bond. Between this one and this plus here, there is an arrow. That signifies is a coordinate bond. Now, if you have been taught bonding, you can go back to coordinate bonding and learn this. And if you have not been taught, please just click, check my YouTube channel on the definition and explanation of coordinate bonding. So at this very point, we shall have a break and the other slides shall be presented in other titles of my YouTube, YouTube channel. So please take note and keep